I wanted to find a really good infrared detector for looking for hidden cameras because most cameras, most good ones, even the peephole cameras or the pinhole cameras have an infrared illuminator. This way at night they can see. And I wanted to be able to have something that I could carry and if I wanted to search an area to see if there was a hidden camera, I could do that. Now, if you use a regular infrared module like a TSOP-1738 or 1838, those are designed to respond to a particular frequency of infrared, not a steady light of infrared. All right, it has to be a frequency for it to detect it. So, this is an infrared flashlight right here. Now, normally when you turn it on, it looks just a very, very faint red, red glow. When you turn this flashlight on without the camera, because the camera will show infrared, you can see everything with the camera. But without the camera, the light will show up as a pale or very faint red glow. All right. So I'll turn it on right now. See, it looks pretty red, but it's also bright. So what I'd like to do is to be able to detect a steady infrared light source like that. So what I'd like to do is be able to detect a steady source of infrared light, which usually emanates from a video camera. So if you take this device right here put together, and I'll put the link in the description box, or I'll just draw the schematic up and put it in the video. But what I did, I came across a website that was talking about using a infrared diode. Now these are out of remote controls. All right, just break open a couple of old remote controls you have laying around. And the reason why I use four is because I put them all in parallel to get more sensitivity. And each one is slightly angled outward. All four of these IR LEDs are connected in parallel and they're reverse biased. All right? So when you look at the schematic, you'll see the positive is going to the negative and then the positive is going to the base of the transistor. Now this will detect regular visible light along with infrared. What happens is when light shines into these LEDs, it allows current to flow through the LEDs into the base of the transistor. The more powerful the source of infrared is, the more current that can flow in. Now on this circuit I have, that's a power on and off switch. I have two settings. One is a lower sensitivity and one is a high sensitivity. The only difference is the amount of resistors on the two settings. I wanted to have a sensitivity setting so I could use it for at night at a higher sensitivity when there's no light around and during the day when there's daylight a lower sensitivity setting. So I push that down. Now I turn this on. Right, see it's off right now. All right. Now this is the infrared flashlight. All right, I'm aim it towards the LEDs. See? I'm taking this light source that normally you can't see. Now this would be your camera. All right, so if you walked around in a bedroom at night with, with the lights dim or lights completely off in the room, and you took this device right here, and you just walked around the entire room, bookcases, uh, air vents, everywhere. And if this light never comes on, then you're good to go. You know there's no camera hidden in there. Because even one of these LEDs, I'll cover most of them, will trigger that. All right. Now I've tested this like 25 feet away, even 30 and it works with this light. All right. And it, the, the sensing of this comes out in like a cone. So each one of these might have a 25 degree angle to them. 
So the sensitivity is going to be like in between those two fingers right there. So you want to move this around to check. Now you want to test the remote control like this. Just point it at it. There you go. You put it about four feet away, three feet away. There you go. Pushing the button. <clears throat> so it's handy for testing remote controls. And it's also handy for searching for hidden cameras. Could be wireless cameras, wired cameras. Doesn't matter what kind of a camera it is, but a good camera is going to have an infrared illuminator in it for night vision, and this will find it. There's, I don't know any other circuits around that can do it, but this one here is really, really good, and it works at a good distance. <clears throat> so you can check, use this for looking for hidden cameras in your home, and it will find them. You can use it for testing remote controls. And hopefully no one uses it for illegal purposes, such as taking this on the high sensitivity at night and walking around somebody else's premises looking for hidden cameras. Because this will, if you point this at the outside of a house, if there's a hidden camera, this light will come on. Great circuit. Works perfectly. And I will put the link in the description box.